Have you ever played the what if game or if only game? Well, hey there, it's Kate Peters, your breakthrough success expert, and that's what we're talking about on today's tapping video. This is when you say to yourself, if only, you know, I had this job, or if only I was making this amount of money, or if only I drove this car, or, you know, when I'm making this amount of money, or if only I could lose 20 pounds, or if only, or when, or, you know, and you're, what you're doing is you're playing this game with yourself, saying that you yourself are not good enough today. However, when you get to this other place, making the consistent money, or having a certain, you know, career or job title, or driving a certain car, or in a relationship, or changing your body, whatever, then you will be good enough. And so I want to do tapping to help you start to shift that, to start to love and accept yourself as you are today. If you have never tapped before, please go to katebeaters.com forward slash tapping, and you can learn about this phenomenal technique that has changed millions of people's lives, including my own. And tapping being a very powerful technique, if for some reason you don't like it, please just simply stop. And an easy request, if you like these videos, if you're enjoying them, please click like, please click subscribe, um, so you'll keep getting more of these videos. So before we start, take a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose, let it back out. Okay, and so tapping looks like Simon says, you're going to tap where I tap using your fingertips, and you're going to repeat after me. Okay, so even though. I really believe that when this thing happens, whatever this thing is, I'll be able to love and accept myself. Even though I can't stop believing that I really need this thing in my life. Whatever this thing is, whatever this change is, I want to find a way to love and accept myself. Even though I can't stop believing that once I get this thing, my life will totally change. I want to find a way to love and accept myself. Okay, shake your hands out. We're going to go to the points on the face and body, repeating after me. I need this thing. I want this thing. If only I was this, if only I had that, if only, if only, if only, if only, I can't stop saying that to myself. Whether it's silently, or out loud to friends. If only I was making this amount of money. If only I was having consistent income. If only I had this job title. If only I drove this car. If only my weight was at a certain place. If only I was more athletic. If only I was more techy. If only I looked like this. If only I was younger. If only I was older. We say that to ourselves a lot, more often than we're even aware. And what we're really saying is that we're not accepting ourselves 
as we are. We're saying we're not good enough. Maybe we think it's a form of self-improvement. Maybe we rationalize why we say it. But the truth is, every time we do it, we're eroding our self-esteem. We're eroding our confidence level. And we're saying we're not good enough. And that's kind of sucky. <laughs> because if we don't think we're good enough, who else will? And there's nothing wrong with wanting more. There's nothing wrong with having more. There's nothing wrong with self-improvement, professional development, and personal development. However, what if we could learn to be satisfied with how we are today? To learn to like ourselves? and love ourselves just as we are today. Imagine if we could think we're already at a 10 and these things are just gonna bring us to a 10 plus. How cool would that be? How different would we see the world and our place in the world? That's a goosebump moment. Imagine how much different things would be. We'd be happier with ourselves. We'd make decisions that are better for ourselves. We'd be so much more self-accepting of ourselves. And that's a good place to be. to love and accept ourselves. Okay, deep breath, everybody. <sighs> Shake it off. how that feel? Everybody feeling good? I know I say this every video, but honest to goodness, I always feel like a weight's been lifted off of me and I'm just ready to, to move to something even more positive. And I'm hoping you feel that way. You may have noticed some, some thoughts pop up, maybe some fears, some doubts, some worries, concerns. That's actually a good thing because it just means those are things you want to work on as part of your, your growth, part of your journey, part of your process. And if that's the case, I would be honored to talk to you about what private coaching with me looks like, how we take a deeper dive and help you really make these big transformational shifts in your life. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out to my team, info at katebeaters.com. The reason I chose today's topic is because I hear this so often. I see it, you know, in posts on social media, and I also hear it from clients. I hear it from friends. I mean, I'm sure I do it too. We all do it. Unfortunately, most of the time we're not even aware of how often we're doing it. The thing is, is that every time we do it, we say that we are not good enough. And so I hope you go back and tap some more along with this video, maybe do it a few more times to help you to start to shift and start to say like, you know, damn, I am good enough, right? You know, this thing is, is a great thing. It'd be great to lose that weight or great to make more money or great to have that car, whatever. However, I don't need that to know I am good enough. That's what I want for you. So until we meet again, be brilliant.